Jace Robertson. Thank y'all. Thank you. Am I still on? Can y'all hear me back there? Oh, okay. I'm thinking she was kind of reverberating, so I'm not sure about that. It doesn't matter what you say if nobody hears it. Well, this is going to be a tough crowd now. We're going to have to live it up a little bit. No, I tell you, I've never missed a scheduled meeting. We've probably been doing this, uh, I don't know how many years I'm not going to say, because it may be incorrect. But in this one, I actually thought we might, because we had the hurricane coming, and right now my house is getting pounded. But I'm going to tell you, I live by a code, and it is God, family, and ducks in that order. God is more important to me than anything else. And people are second. Things that can tear up things in my house, I'm, I'm not real worried about that. We'll deal with that later. So I was fortunate and blessed to be here. It was a little bit of a bumpy ride this morning. It was a faith test. I passed the flying colors. Because I didn't even get shook up about it. I couldn't help but think about hearing the, hearing the hospital's head talk about screening. It made me think of every time I go through the airport. Because I got news for you. I know you showed up here and some of you have watched the show and we, we are appreciative and humbled that you watch it and support us. But look, in this world, if people don't know who I am, when they see me, they think I am a threat. <laughs> when I go through airport security, they say, come right over here. <laughs> Every time. And they start getting things out that buds. They get wands. It's frustrating. I mean, people won't make eye contact with me. And when they see me and my wife in public, they're looking at her thinking, okay, has she been abducted? <laughs> Is she crying out for help? So every once in a while you have a moment at the airport where people recognize you and you're thinking, yes, this guy knows who I am. Man, I could have used you back there in the one line, you know? <laughs> I'd had a tough day. I had a little kid come up to me in the airport. He's like, can I have your autograph? Thinking. See? Little kid. So I'm signing, and I was like, yeah, buddy, sure. You know, I was glad to see somebody that supported us. He said, look, I've got a question for you. I said, what's that? He said, how much does Geico pay y'all? <laughs> I said, wait a minute. I'm not a king, man. I'm one of the duck men. Hey, this book says, never think of yourself more highly than you ought. And so 